Hi everybody and welcome to She Shays with your host Jill. Today the video is about women shave their facial hair. Get over it. I hope you get the message by the time I'm done with this video. All right, let's talk about women's facial hair. There's certain nationalities that have dark facial hair. From the Mideast, um, Italians, uh, you name it. There just are some nationalities that have, women have dark facial hair. But then, there are women that have thyroid issues, and that affects facial hair. I happen to have hypothyroidism, so my facial hair is affected by that. A biggie that a lot of women have, and this is one out of ten women suffer from this, and it's polycystic ovary syndrome. And that's where we produce more male hormones. Now, it, it, this happens uh, to one in ten women, and you produ produce more male hormones. Now, I had cysts on my ovaries. The ovary, monthly, would uh, the egg would come out in a different spot every month for women. Me, it came out of the same spot every time, and it formed a cyst. Well, unfortunately, my cyst ruptured, and I had to have emergency surgery for that. Now, like I say, one in ten women uh, suffered from polycystic ovary syndrome, and we produce more male hormones, and one in ten women have this issue. One in ten have this. Now let's look at the uh, the usual ways that uh, women remove facial hair. Now you've got waxing. Have any of you men waxed your legs or arms or anything like that? It's not fun. You have to let the hair grow out uh, a lot before you can even do it. Put the hot wax on it, let it harden, and then rip it off your face. Does that look like fun? No. Then women have epilators. Now, I can't find mine. I think I chucked it finally, but it's something similar to this. And it has a, a, a roller. But the rollers have these plates that capture their hair and rip it out. That is not fun. Then there are um, hair removal creams. That is not fun. Most of them burn. Most of them burn. You put it on. You have to let, for most of these things too, you have to let that hair grow out quite a bit before they're effective. So there's waxing. You have to let the hair grow out so it sticks out. And, you know, put the hot wax on, let it harden, and then rip it off. Not fun. Then there's epilators. Um, I think I tossed mine, but epilator is very similar to this, but it's got these plates that capture the hair and rip it out. Not fun. Then the creams, like I say, um, that burn your face and aren't really that effective removing the, the facial hair. Then you have tweezing. Now, when I first started getting a little facial hair, it was down here. And it was like three or four of them. And yeah, I could tweeze those. That's fine. But as I got more and more facial hair down here on my problem area, that wasn't effective. And then you have these little teeny, teeny, tiny razors <laughs> that they try to promote to, to do the areas, you know, the, the peach fuzz. That does not work on dark facial hair down here. You've got the uh, uh, laser removal. That's quite expensive. I've not tried that uh, because I don't want the expense and whatever from it. So, my method is traditional wet shaving using typically a razor like this. And this particular one is an Edwin Jagger DE89L, L for the lines in it. And that is my choice for shaving the facial hair from my face. It is not something 
that should be demonized. Now, guys, think about this. If you had to use waxing for your facial hair, would you like that? I don't think so. If you had to use an epilator to remove your facial hair, your beard or mustache, would you like that? I don't think so. If you had to use harmful creams on your face that are really not effective, would you do that? I don't think so. If you had to tweeze your facial hair, would you do that? I don't think so. If you had to use a teeny little razor like this to get rid of your facial hair, would you do that? I don't think so. Laser removal? That's expensive. I wouldn't mind having that done, but I'm not going to do it. So why would you subject women to those archaic ways of removing facial hair? Men, you choose to use, um, a lot of you, choose to use traditional shaving to remove your facial hair. You would not use those other methods, would you? So why do you want to subject me and other women to those archaic methods of reducing our facial hair? Uh-uh, not going to go over with this gal. No way, no how. I chose traditional wet shaving for it. Just think about what I just said, you guys. To remove your beards and your facial hair. Think about using those methods. Waxing, epilators, creams, tweezing, teeny tiny razors, laser hair removal. I don't think any of you guys would subject yourself to that. So why do you want women to? Because it's a more feminine way to do it? Bullshit. And I'm calling it bullshit because that's what it is. I choose to do traditional wet shaving. The products that we use in traditional wet shaving are good for our faces. When we run a steel blade over our face, it exfoliates our face and it makes it smoother. The products that we use when we do traditional wet shaving, the soaps, maybe a pre-shave, the aftershaves and the aftershave balms, they leave our faces feeling so nice and conditioned. So why would you want to subject women to those methods that I mentioned? You would not use those methods. So do not deprive or demean women for using this kind of implement to remove our facial hair. Okay? Go invent the wheel and get out of your cave and stop being a Neanderthal. All right, with that being said, I'm going to show you what I choose to do. And like I say, it's traditional wet shaving. I'm going to be using a soap that I used the other day. And it is from uh, Razor Rock and it's Irish Countryside. And it's their take on Green Irish Tweed. And there it is in the uh, tub. And I am going to be using, like I say, one of my first big girl shaving razors. And that's my DE89L. And I'm going to be using a feather blade, which is uh, the sharpest blade around. And let's see, this is on the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th, 6th use. So I'm going to load that in this razor. And this happens to be a three-piece razor. And you unscrew it from there. And then you have the two plates there, and the blade is going to go on here, and I'm going to screw the bottom cap back on. And here goes the feather blade on top of it. Alright, we got the head there. This has been my favorite way to shave my facial hair, ever. All of those other methods are just not suitable. Alright, I'm going to be using this brush here, 
today. I'm not going to talk about the products. I'm going to talk about women shaving their faces. And we've got our soap. We've got our razor. We've got our brush to lather up with. And I'm going to dampen this brush. It's a synthetic brush, so I don't need to really soak it for any length of time. Uh, if it was a natural hair brush, uh, a badger or a boar, I would soak it for a, a while, but it's not needed with a synthetic brush. So I'm going to get it wet, and I'm just going to squeeze the ends of it. And I'm going to load up my soap. So like I say, this is a take on Green Irish Tweed. Which, oh, I just love that scent. I'm going to put about a 20, 30 second load on the brush. Think about it, what I said, guys. Think about those methods that they try to force women to use because it's more feminine than shaving your face. Waxing, epilators, creams that burn your face, tweezing, teeny tiny razors. Why would you subject us to that when you would not do that to your face? Hmm? Let us enjoy. Let us enjoy the joys of traditional wet shaving, I say. <laughs> Alright, that's quite a nice load I have on there. Let me re-wet my face. And I'm going to use a um, pre-shave, Skin So Soft Fresh and Smooth Moisturizing Shave Oil. And it's got a cherry scent to it. I'm going to shake it up. Put a few drops on it. Now, ladies out there, the products that we use in traditional wet shaving have so many properties that help your face. Like I said, it exfoliates your face. Let's use some of the Pro Lather, which there's ni nice enough Pro Lather. I could <laughs> do a, a full pass on this. All right, and let's lather up. Take the shame out of women shaving their faces. There is no shame involved. I will tell you this. Uh, movie stars shave their faces. It does help makeup go on better. Like I say, it exfoliates your skin. There are movie stars that shave their faces. And the reason why is makeup goes on better. In fact, I have a friend that is a makeup and hair artist that works on very big TV shows. And they will not put makeup on until the woman has shaved her face. Because the lights catch those fine hairs. Take the shame out of it. There is no shame on it. So if you're one of those guys, or even a woman that think it's ridiculous for a woman to shave her face, like I say at the beginning, get over it. This is my method of choice. Compared to any of those other ones, forget it. These soaps are so nice. They smell so good. They have such good, great properties on your face. And like I say, the steel blade over your face exfoliates. exfoliates and the aftercare products we use that you'll see me use are great for our faces. My face has never been so soft since I got back into traditional wet shaving.
And you guys can attest to that out there. Let's add a little bit more water. It's fun to play. It's fun me time to pamper myself. These soaps feel so good on your face. They smell delicious. And for me, it's the most effective way of removing facial hair. And like I say, get rid of the shame. Guys, and even women, stop shaming women that shave. You should be supporting each other. All right, let's do this. I want you guys to keep thinking about those ways that they say is the more feminine way to remove our facial hair. Do you want to do those? Keep asking yourself that. If you do that, you'll stop shaming women like me who shave their facial hair. We want our faces to be smooth. We want our makeup to go on easier. And for me, this is the most humane way to do it. Men, support the women in your life that do or want to shave their faces. All right, and it's a first pass. Let me rinse off. Get into the 21st century. Don't be a barbarian and put down women who shave their face. There are certain health issues that we can't avoid. And why wouldn't we want to have a smooth face? That's the reason why you guys shave, right? Remove the hair from your face. Those, that have, uh, those of us that have some especially trouble areas, you know, here and here, for most women, is a trouble area that happen to have excessive facial hair. So support the women in your life. It might be uncomfortable for you to do it, but ask your mother, ask your sister, ask your girlfriend, ask your wife, ask a friend. If you can have that kind of an intimate conversation with them about facing, shaving their faces, you'd be surprised at how many do and just don't talk about it because of the attitudes of society. Screw those norms. And why shouldn't we have the me time with these wonderful shave products while we remove our facial hair? All right, let's go this way. Usually considered against the grain. Say this is my pampering me time. The products that I use during and after a shave leave my face feeling so soft, so hydrated, exfoliated, and the products that we use are phenomenal.
Wow, what a great shave. So guys, stop being that guy that doesn't support the idea of women shaving their facial hair. My makeup's going to go on smoother. There is no shame, so stop it. Stop demeaning, laughing, teasing, and putting down women who shave their facial hair. Movie stars do it because makeup artists won't even put makeup on unless they are freshly shaven. Because those little peach fuzzies show up on camera. Marilyn Monroe shaved her face. Elizabeth Taylor shaved her face. Movie stars, for the most part, in TV series, have to have their faces shaved, or makeup artists won't even work on them until their faces are shaved. Because it, the cameras pick up every single little bit of hair on the face. All right, let's do a little touch-up, y'all. Yeah. Guys out there, support your wives, your friends, your girlfriends, any of your females that you know. Don't put us down for what we do to our facial hair. And I will reiterate again and again and again. Those archaic methods of waxing, epilators, tweezing, creams, teeny tiny razors are not things that you would want to do. Why in the world would you want to subject us women to that and deprive us of this great hobby? This is me time. So rethink. Rethink your archaic thinking about women shaving their faces. Please. If you've got a woman friend, a, a wife, a sister, refer her to these videos so she doesn't have to be ashamed to admit that she shaves her face because you'd be surprised how women, how many women do. All right, so I've got what they call, ladies and gentlemen, a baby butt smooth shave. I have no irritation from this great razor blade and razor and wonderful soap that I'm using that gave me protection and glide and a soft face fill. Guys, support the women And shaving their facial hair. All right, that's going to do it. If you've got a sister, a girlfriend, a mother, a lover, who you think might be interested in this video, share it with them. Don't shame us. Don't do that, guys. And don't force us or say that it's more feminine to use those archaic ways that I talked about. The waxing, epilators, creams, tweezing, and teeny razors. Why would you subject us to those things? You wouldn't want that on your face. Think about that. Just think about those issues. All right. I got a baby butt smooth shave. Comfortable. No nicks. No nothing. 
so smooth. My face feels so soft. Let me rinse with cold water and I'll be right back. All right. Oh, that was so enjoyable. Like I mentioned, the products that we use leave our faces feeling so soft. Hydrated. Now, for aftershave, I'm going to use Thayer's uh, Rose Petal Witch Hazel. Oop, get up there, no stud. That feels good. And I am going to use Barbado Moisturizing Razor Bump Therapy Aftershave Lotion. Shake it up. Now the scent on this is nothing to write home about, but when you put it in your hand, do that, and then let it waft a little bit to get rid of the alcohol, and then put it on. It'll be much better for your face that way. And you can get a little bit of the orange scent on that. And then I'm going to use my five Aqua Velva Sensitive 5-in-1 Aftershave Balm. These products, like I say, ladies who may be watching, are great for our skin. Let's face it, ladies, we spend a lot of money on facial, you know, beauty products, beauty aids and whatever. And the products that we use in wet shaving are great for our faces. I guarantee it. My face has never felt so soft since I took up uh, traditional wet shaving again. So that's it. And that's the reason why we shouldn't, you shouldn't, nobody should be shaming women who shade their faces. I have the smoothest face ever. My makeup is going to go on great. And that's it. So, like I said, women shave their faces. Get over it. <laughs> so, if you've not subscribed already, please do hit that little ding dong next to it so you're notified when my next video comes up. Yada, yada, yada. Hit the like button. Yada, yada, yada. And don't forget, I'm going to say bye-bye for now. And you know, <laughs> yeah, you know, I love you guys. Bye. <laughs>